my mouth is not moving as fast as my brain right now. All right, so today I wanted to do another kind of half-faced wear test primer kind of video. So we're gonna be testing out two mattifying primers. One of them is high-end and the other one is drugstore or from Ulta. This is the Murad Matte Effect Blotting Perfector. This is brand new. It's a cushion compact mattifier basically. This is the NYX Shine Killer Primer. I've never tried either of these before. We're trying it out in this video. A few of you guys actually were recommending this product in the comments on one of my foundation videos, which is why I picked this up. And then I was like, hey, we should I have combination oily skin. I get oily throughout the day on my T-zone. So as soon as I saw this on the Sephora new arrival page, which I stock every day, I put this in my cart and I bought it because anything I can put underneath my foundation to help me get less oily throughout the day, yes. I want that. I've tried a bunch of different shine stoppers or mattifying kind of primers, and I haven't found one that I feel like totally keeps my skin matte throughout the day. So this one has been getting pretty good reviews on Sephora so far, so we'll see how it wears throughout the day. Let's read some of the claims on both of these products. So starting with the NYX Shine Killer, this retails for $13.99 on Ulta. You can almost always get NYX on sale either at Ulta or at the drugstore. I actually got this one on Amazon with the free one day shipping or whatever for $11.99, I think it was. You get 0.67 ounces of product in here. So it says it's a foundation primer that prepares skin for silky smooth makeup application, creates an invisible layer that acts as a buffer to outside elements, helps makeup stay fresh and color true for hours, lasting all day and well into the night. Online it says prep your face with this foundation primer before applying face makeup, but on the box it says it can be worn over or under makeup or without makeup, just if you're having a makeup free day and wanna keep the oil away. So onto the Murad Matte Effect Blotting Perfector. This retails for $39 and you get 0.4 ounces of product. So you do get a tiny bit less in this product than the NYX one. This is exclusive to Sephora and it is actually a compact product. So it's just like a cushion foundation. You guys will see during the application and everything, my thoughts on the packaging. So it says it's a translucent liquid blotting formula in an on the go cushion compact that instantly mattifies skin, absorbs oil, Oil, visibly minimizes pores and perfects. This unique formula dries quickly and provides a touchable softness to the skin while perfecting the look of skin. It says after eight hours, it's supposed to keep the skin mattified and keeps the appearance of pores minimized. I do have pretty big pores, so we'll also see how it, what it does to my pores. Eight hours isn't that long, so I'm hoping that my face is gonna stay mattified for longer than that. I typically do 10 hour wear tests. You can use this underneath your makeup as a primer, or you can also touch up throughout the day by just applying this on the parts of your face that are oily, and it's supposed to help mattify and it's supposed to be okay to put on top of foundation. So that's all of the claims on both of these. Murad and NYX are both cruelty free. We're gonna keep these bad boys on the entire day. Hopefully it'll make me look less like a grease ball at the end of the night. So if you wanna see my thoughts on these oil controlling products and how they apply and wear throughout the day, you're in the right place, just keep watching. I'm gonna need a lot of these today. All right, so let's go ahead and clip back the hair. So I think we're gonna do the Murad Blotting Perfector on this side of my face and then the NYX Shine Killer on the other side. I've already washed and moisturized my face. Obviously have not primed yet. Super light. Packaging feels pretty plasticky. Yeah, this is a pretty cheap feeling compact. I'm definitely gonna use this as a primer on the bottom and then I might try like a portion of my face on top of the foundation just so we can see if it's different if you have to put on foundation too. So I just peeled this up. Normally with cushion products, there's a sealant that you peel off to keep it from drying out. And I don't see a sealant on here. So that's interesting. No sealant. You get like a liquidy light pink consistency. I'm gonna attempt to do half my nose with this. It doesn't really have a scent. And it feels nice and cooling. Actually, it feels really good. Ooh. And I'm just kind of pressing this on like a normal cushion product. I think that half of my face is sufficiently covered. Ooh, whoa, it feels like a powder almost. It's super soft. I'd say it takes about 20 seconds to dry down and it does look more matte for sure than this side, especially on my forehead. So let's go in with the NYX Shine Killer on the other side. So it looks like a silicone consistency when you squeeze it out. Let's go ahead and apply. Yeah, it just feels like a silicone primer. Tiny bit more to the forehead. I don't know how you would apply this on top of your foundation without ruining the foundation, but I guess we'll find out. So I'm gonna give these a couple minutes to just kind of sink into my skin. My pores definitely look smaller on this side right now. I'm gonna zoom you guys in. So hopefully you can see this. Here are my pores on this side. My pores on this side do look a tiny bit smaller to me. 
So for foundation, I'm gonna be using the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. I have a full review on this. I'm using this one for a couple different reasons in this video. This one, I know how it wears throughout the day. It does have more of like a satin kind of finish. This one by itself can get a little bit oily on me throughout the day, so I feel like it'll be a good one to test with these products. This is also the foundation that I tested with the Guerlain Catrice primers. If you missed that video, I'll put it in the little eye over here. I did a half face test with those primers, so I think it'll be a good steady foundation to just test out with primers. Whenever I wear this, I do mix in a little bit of my white Stargazer foundation. This NYX side actually, now that it's sunk in, feels less silicone-y and feels closer to this side. This side still feels a little bit more powdery. And I might as well show you guys this brush since some of you on Snapchat were asking about it. This is the new Pure Cosmetics Oval Brush and I've only used it with this foundation. This foundation is kind of unique the way it blends out. So I feel like I need to test this with other products, but I like it with this foundation. I'm not in love with it. I mostly just really need to wash my foundation brushes, which is why we're using this. Whoa, this is way more matte than it normally is. Yeah, this looks like matte right now. And this foundation, when I put it on, normally has a little bit of a glow to it. I wouldn't say it's harder to blend out with the primer. It just feels like it sets really quick. So I'm glad I didn't do my forehead because I feel like you do have to work in sections with this. And with that brush, since it is so freaking huge, I usually have to go in with the second brush and kind of get the areas that I couldn't fully get. Like around the eyebrows for me and in the hairline, this brush is really hard. So I'm gonna go in with this E56 brush and just kind of blend this out. It feels like it glides over the NYX side a lot easier. This one just sets really quick. And I have never tried the Artiste brush, so I don't really have anything to compare this brush to. I mean, it's fine. It's just not life-changing in my opinion. Yeah, this side blends out a lot smoother. It looks a little bit heavier on this side. This side is just kind of melting into my skin. I wouldn't say it looks cakey on this side. You can just see the texture a little bit more, but my pores on this side look way better. All right, so here's a look at it up close with the lights turned down. It definitely looks more glowy on this side. This is what the foundation normally looks like. This maybe mattified it a tiny bit. This looks very matte compared to what it normally does. So it is 10.27 right now, so we're gonna call the check-in time 10.30. I'm not gonna be applying a powder today because I wanna see how the primers control the oil, not the powder. So I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. All right, so it's now, ooh, exactly 11 o'clock. There you go. So the rest of my makeup's on. I'm gonna tell you guys everything that's on my face in a second. Blending out blush, bronzer, highlight. I do feel like this side blended out super easily. It felt like I was blending on top of a powder, even though I haven't powdered my face. I'm trying to decide if I wanna put part of this over my face right now. And I think it might make most sense to wait until the next check-in because if I put it on right now, I think I'm just gonna look dry. My forehead looks a little bit dry on both sides, but a little bit more on this side right now. So I'm gonna give my skin a chance to produce some oil and then we'll see if this kind of mattifies it. So the bronzer I used today is actually new to me. This is the Bobbi Brown Bronzing Powder in the shade Medium 2. I got this when I was with Mallory in Houston. We both actually got this because it looks like a really nice reddish brown kind of bronzy shade, which is really hard to find where it doesn't pull orange. Blush I use Physicians Formula Plum Rose Blush. This is their new butter blush, which smells amazing. Highlight, this is also new to me. This is the Laura Mercier Highlight 01 Matte Radiance Baked Powder. That is the most deceiving name to me. This is, this is not matte at all. This is a straight up highlight shade. It looks totally different on your face than it does in the pan. I thought this was gonna be way too dark, but Mallory convinced me to get this and it is beautiful. For eyeshadow, I use the Pure Cosmetics Trolls palette, which I've been obsessed with this month. This is gonna be in my Raves and Rejects video. That video will be going up before this, so you guys will have already seen that. And then my lips, Too Faced Naughty Ultra Matte Lip with the Jordana Soft Cream, Sweet Cream? What am I saying? Sweet Cream Matte Lip Cream, Buttercream Frosting is the shade. <laughs> when the ColourPop one is still a little bit wet, I just tap the Jordana one in the center of my lips to give it a little more dimension. So I'm gonna do my normal about 10 hour wear test. I'm gonna check in with you guys in a few hours and it will be in natural lighting. All right, so it is 4.30, so everything has been on for six hours now. So I'm filming on the iPhone right now. I hope I'm not covering the speaker actually. But it's on the 4K video app, so it should be okay quality to see everything. So both sides to me right now are looking pretty much identical. There might be a little bit more dew coming through on my forehead on the next side. Actually, it looks a little bit more matte on this side around my nose, but everything else I think is looking pretty similar. And I do have the kitchen light on right now, so that's the light that you're seeing right there. Oh, should I blot it? 
I'm gonna blot at the end of the night if I have some oil, but let's just see how it holds up with these two. All right, so it's now 10.08, so it's been on for almost 12 hours. This is a super long check-in, and I have some thoughts. So this side of my face definitely is more oily to me than NYX Shine Killer side. This side is oily on my forehead too. Keep in mind that I have a light on so it's reflecting off of it. But in the mirror, this side definitely looks more oily overall. This is way more mattified and around my nose area especially is where I see a difference. My chin looks really bad on both sides. I don't know what it is, but I feel like I majorly broke out today, kind of on both sides all over. I mean, I have some major new acne down here today and it also looks very separated on my chin. And then here my pores look pretty large and super shiny. And as you can see, this side is more mattified. It doesn't look great still, like it still looks a little bit caked up around my nose but this side for sure looks better around my nose area. I feel like that's a huge difference right there. Forehead, I think looks about the same on both sides. So overall thoughts, this side I feel like really didn't do anything for my oil. This side I do like how it mattified around my nose area. Since you can apply this over the product, we're gonna try that out. I'm gonna do the NYX Shine Killer and the Murad on top just to see if you're someone who does like blotting throughout the day to see if this would kind of mattify. So I'm just gonna go on the forehead first because that's where I have most oil right now. And I don't know how this isn't gonna take off my foundation. So that definitely mattified. You can see on here it came off a little bit, but yeah, it's back to like that powdery kind of finish. Do it around my nose. This area is still pretty matte on my cheeks. I'm gonna do my chin. I do feel like it's taking off some of the product, but compared to this side, I mean, that totally mattified it, especially on the forehead. Not bad. I probably wouldn't put this on top of a foundation just because I don't want it to take off anything, but I do like it for underneath foundation, especially if you just you concentrate it on your oily areas. It says you can put this thing over it too. So let's try around the nose area. I'm just gonna kind of dab. That definitely took off some product. Let's try on the forehead. I can feel my grease on this side. It might need a minute to kind of set in there, but I don't like the NYX Shine Killer on top of product. That just took away a lot, and I think it did a whole lot of mattifying. This is just out to party right now. So overall, this one I don't think did a whole lot at all. I didn't really see too much of a difference at the beginning or throughout the day. I'm definitely gonna continue to use this and try it out. I'm hoping this didn't break me out, but I love that you can actually see a difference, especially if you have bigger pores. I mean, this this one did mattify that side of my face. Keep in mind that I didn't set my face today with a powder, so whenever I set the Clinique foundation, it does hold up better throughout the day. So my future self is popping in here, and I have used this about three times since filming this video now, and I have really mixed feelings on it. Some foundations I do think it helped mattify for sure, and others, like the Dermacol when I use this with, I see no difference at all. You also have to be really careful about having it cake up around your nose. I've noticed that with some products, it can do that. So I think this one's kind of hit or miss depending on the foundation you're using. Do I think it's worth it? I don't know. I think you gotta try it out with your favorite foundation. So if you guys like this video and you found it helpful, make sure you give this a thumbs up so I know. If you're new, you can join the Bayrito family and subscribe. I upload Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, Foundation Friday on Friday. Love you guys, thanks for watching. See you in my next video, bye. Thank you.